girls in, in Korea are called Mire. Oh. Uh, yeah. So, okay. so it's a feminine name. It's a feminine name. Yes. Good. It gave me the scare of my life. Okay. Of retirement. Hmm. Today in India, the biggest ticking bomb is the retirement. Yes. People have no idea how much money they will need when they retire. Hello and welcome everyone to AUM Finance Podcast. This podcast discusses the first principles of investing and is for informational purpose only. We intend to add to the body of knowledge. Please consult your financial advisor before taking any investing decision. So, uh, hi everyone. Uh, welcome to the AUM Finance Podcast. Uh, as I keep saying, this podcast is about first principles. And this is the interview section of the AUM Finance Podcast, where I get to interview luminaries in the world of finance. So, who do I have today? I have Mr. Swaroop Mohanty, uh, CEO of uh, Mire Mutual Fund. I will formally introduce him. Swaroop, welcome to the AUM Finance Podcast. Oh, thank you so much for having me and really a pleasure being here. Looking forward to a good conversation. It's my pleasure, Swaroop. And uh, you have more, almost 30 years of experience, not to take up, not to mention your age here. Okay. But then you started very young and you are one of a legend in the industry, managing Mirai Mutual Fund, which the parent itself is a very big entity worldwide. One of the top 10 uh, fund managers in the world in this industry. And I am sure my viewers are going to benefit a lot from this conversation. Yeah, I look forward. Look forward. Yeah. So before we start, let me just introduce you formally. Uh, Mr. Swaroop Anand Mohanty is the Vice Chairman and Chief Executive Officer of Mire Asset Investment Managers India Private Limited. I believe you've been elevated to some international position also. Swaroop. No, no, no. It's not an international. It's a, I mean, the organization has its own. Hierarchy, it's, it's a global hierarchy. So, all. so I, I, I had predicted this. I mean, I'm a small guy, but I believe when Indian CEOs are allowed to take seat internationally, that is one of the thing we can say one of the indicators that India has arrived in the global space. People I, like you are. No, actually, very honestly, I'm very fortunate to work in an organization which uh, really regards the Indian acumen very highly. Yes, uh, it's one of those organizations which wants to create a hub in India an international uh, organization so not many organizations think that way yes so my job profile remains in india hmm. and and the job is to broaden our business in india yes. and, and uh, yeah what you say is correct it's always good when when india is recognized yes in an international organization and, and, and in us we have seen many of the global mncs are manned by ceos here the second trend I would like to see is people like you, people who are CEOs managing first the Indian operations and the international head office thinks people uh, so capable that they want to elevate them to an uh, international level and give them a geography much bigger than India. No, let me make a clarification. Our view, contrary to many international okay. firms, is that we feel India is very large. Yes. And this is not today. This is something which was discussed a decade ago. Yes. That if we want to create a hub outside Seoul, yeah. We could create a hub for ourselves in India also. Right. So our view on India and the possibility of business in India, hmm. I would say is very strong. So, hmm. so the elevation is at a global level. Yes. But the job profile will remain, remain the in same. India because we see the potential of India to be far larger than uh, many countries outside. Okay, great, great. Let me continue with your formal introduction. Uh, as a financial group, Mire Asset takes a collaborative approach in managing a fully diversified investment platform. Sometime in the podcast, I'd like you to elaborate what do you mean by collaborative approach. Uh, Mr. Mohanty has over 29 years of experience in the field of financial services, including 20 years plus in the asset management on the sales side. And uh, based on my interaction with you, I can say you are a very suave and very sophisticated uh, marketer. Oh, everybody has a style. <laughs> Every sales guy has a style. Yes, yes. Yeah. And I've le I keep learning a lot from you. You are overall responsible for the India Asset Management Company. You've also got some international uh, uh, responsibilities now. Mire Asset Mutual Fund is driven with an idea of providing innovative investment solutions and help, us it, help its partners and investors construct portfolios. So, sort of, let's start with what Mire is about. Let the viewers know. Mire internationally, what is the group about? And then we'll come to your experience. Yeah. It's very interesting because the what started in, say, the late 90s okay. uh, our, by our founder chairman, uh, Mr. Hyunju Park, mm -hmm. uh, 
uh, he started the organization. Uh, he used to be a private equity fund manager, hmm. and he decided that Seoul or Korea should have mutual funds. Okay. Right. And we are the first mutual fund of South Korea. Okay. He named the company Mire, which okay. in, in Korean means the future. Mire in Korean means the future. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So a uh, lot of girls in in Korea are called Mire. <laughs> oh. Uh, yeah. So, okay. So it's a feminine name. It's yeah. a feminine name. Yes. Good. And and. Uh, so he he registered the first mutual fund because he was a star manager himself in his own name. Okay. So the first fund in Seoul or first mutual fund in Seoul was named after him, which is the Hyunju Park Number One Fund. Uh -huh. And it was a target return fund. I mean, mm -hmm. once you hit your target, you would uh, redeem exit. automatic redeem. Yeah. And uh, he a good fund manager delivers. Yes. So the first bunch of investors who uh, sort of took on this uh, instrument called mutual fund, mm. actually had a very good experience. Mm. As a result, mm. today, Korea is almost a 96% penetrated mm. financial asset mm. country. Mm. Uh, a lot of credit has been given Kore to Korea has 96%. Would, 96%. That, would that make it the highest the penetration highest, for equity for mutual funds? For financial country? assets, one of the highest in the world. 96% yeah. penetration. So what I mean, started, hmm. it's very interesting, it's a case study which yeah. I, I keep on studying every other day because what started as a long only equity scheme, hmm. equity scheme, not hmm. a fund, scheme, hmm. Hmm. is today a full-fledged investor globally. Uh, we are now in 17 countries, okay. uh, managing assets beyond mutual funds. Mm. Uh, you can please Google us, us mm. on, on the real estate side. Mm. Uh, we own, excepting India probably, we own mm. uh, fairly market hours worldwide. Mm. Uh, we are fairly okay. present in the hotel space mm -hmm. because our chairman feels uh, if you have to buy an asset, buy a good asset, not necessarily an asset manager. Uh, we own some coffee chains in the world. Uh -huh. uh, we are invested in airlines. I was not uh, aware of that. Angle. Yes, so, so it's a conglomerate. Now. It's a, it's an investment 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 company. And at India, our journey is very similar to Korea to early days. But we kind of started in some way. Then we regrouped to start uh, on the equity side. Hmm. And today, I can say we are beginning to diversify our business across uh, different verticals of finance. How long you been in India? Uh, so with Mirai Asset, this is my 13th year. Okay. Uh, I started in 2011. Okay. The AUM then was 464 crores. And where are we year. today? A little shy of 150,000 crores. Wow. Uh, so, okay. So, okay. Uh, it but says a lot. <laughs> yeah. Well, interestingly, so <laughs> let me reflect on the journey. When we started, we are a Korean fund. Yes. Uh, not many people still can pronounce the word Mirai. Mirai. Uh, uh, but we are almost 60 lakh folios. Hmm. Uh, we never thought that uh, we would come out as a retail-owned fund house. Mm. The journey in the future can be different. Mm. But, uh, you know, we can't thank people like you enough who, who saw the name much before yes. uh, the potential picked yes. up the fund. Yes. And that's in my, the job. In my geography, I was the yeah, yeah, I mean, flag see, bearer. <laughs> yeah, I keep on saying And rightfully so, I got rewarded. My investors got rewarded. No, but see, you have a choice. Hmm. Like, say, it is expected from a fund manager to choose a stock ahead of its time. Hmm. Similarly, from the investor, it's expected of a good distributor hmm. advisor to choose a fund house much before time. Yeah, much because uh, it becomes a common name. Yes, yes. Hmm. Uh, so, uh, very thankful for that sure. and, and that speaks of the acumen. I'm so fortunate to be doing this with you now. I am fortunate <laughs> to be here with you, Sarup. Okay. Now, you had 29 years of experience in the industry. What has it taught you? Ah, two, three things it's taught me is that the first thing it taught me is that the market is always smarter than you. Yes. Yeah, that's the first thing. Market learning. is always smarter than an individual Anybody. or an institution. Anybody. Okay. Because it is wisdom of the crowds. Yes, it is the wisdom of the crowds. I mean, something which I did not uh, believe earlier. Hmm. Earlier hmm. in our younger days, hmm. I would always think that, you know, I knew a lot. Yeah. Uh, but slowly, slowly, uh, you get over that phase. Mm. Uh, uh, the other part it's taught me is that we manage money. Mm. It manage and ma manage somebody else's money. And uh, very few people are fortunate to be sitting on a fiduciary chair. Yes. And, and when you are sitting on a fiduciary chair, you have to do justice. So explain it. the term fiduciary. It's safeguarding somebody else's money. 
fiduciary means safeguarding somebody else's money. Yes. I always keep saying, I love that word, but I never went into the definition of that. Yeah. In fact, you know, the other day I, uh, I was interviewing Chanakya. Chanakya is Dr. Radhakrishna Pillai, yeah. the man known for, who has written 23 books on yeah, Chanakya. Yeah, incredible. Yeah, so he taught me a word. So after Om, if some word has appealed to me, after Om, is Anvikshiki. So uh, the original Chanakya uh, in his Earth Shastra has one first chapter on Anvikshiki. Anvikshiki is the art of thinking, how to think about anything. And uh, wow. I learned that in Indian, ancient Indian, etymology, the study of origin of words was given a lot of importance. And this word Anvikshiki has 200 meanings. So, fiduciary, I learned the definition from you today and I keep telling my clients that if somebody, it is a business of trust. It's a business of trust. It is a business of trust. And trust, like Warren Buffett says, it takes 20 years to build a reputation and trust and 20 minutes to ruin you it. You can kill it in a minute. You can kill it in a minute. Yeah. If you go one wrong once yes. in your entire lifespan, it can kill it. So, you can it's, make mistakes. Hmm. Mistakes are pardonable. Ha, blunders are uh, not. But in a fiduciary role, there is a binding of regulation. Hmm. Uh, which is black and white. Mm. You can't break that even by a decimal point. You can't break it even by a decimal point. Yes. It, itna bhi galti galti hota hai. Bilkul, galti galti hota hai. Usme there is no grey. Trust nahi tordne ka, performance chalta hai. Haan, so, you know, like, you say, like I said, the market is smarter. Yes. Sometimes we might be on the wrong side of the market. Yes. yes. But as long as we know that we are on the wrong side and we can mend it, hmm. the investor and you know right. that it's a time game. Right. That is allowed. Yes. Uh, this business is cyclical, everybody knows. Yes. That is allowed. Yes. But to work in the grey mm. is unpardonable. Mm. There are no grey areas in, our, in no our, area. our field. There is no grey area. There are just two people in this earth. Uh. There is lawmaker, uh. law follower. Uh. I am a law follower. Okay. Simple. Okay. Okay. So, uh, let me lead you to the question. You, you were sharing your experiences. You said you learned three lessons in over nine, 29 years. One is that market is supreme. Which are the other two lessons? So, other part I said, this is a fiduciary role. It's a fiduciary role. Uh, okay. And you have to do whatever and mm -hmm. everything in your capacity mm -hmm. to retain the fiduciary role. Uh, not many people are fortunate to get this chair. Yes. I am extremely fortunate and thankful to have been sitting, to be yes. sitting on such a chair. So, yes. I have to give everything to retain that. And uh, no compromise, no, no compromise on principles. Yeah, I can lose my job on non-performance. Hmm. I cannot lose my job on non-compliance. Wow. Can never. Wow. There is no doubt or debate on that one. Wow. Uh, the third one is, I think, respecting the young. Respecting the young? Yes. Uh, people talk about respecting the elder. Huh. But over a period of time, what has happened, and this is something which I am going through mentally, because the difference between my father, me, and my son, between me and son, is vast. Yes. Because of the, la the lack of information which two of us had, my father and I, which is in abundance with, with my the, son. Hmm. Uh, the economic level of the next generation is superior to ours by virtue of India growing and, and becoming a richer country. Hence, their acumen hmm. is completely different because of the vastness of knowledge that they have to us, both of us probably put together. Uh -huh. uh, so, that is something which I am beginning to respect. Right. And, and admire about them. Their confidence huh. when they stand up and say things hmm. is something which is wow. fascinating. Wow. And you you're referring to Gen Z? Yeah, both. Millennials, uh, Gen, millennials Z, Gen Z. Are, are and even very, the next one. Yeah, could be the next one. And they think very differently. Extremely differently. They different. think very differently. Yeah. We have to... So, so I am at a stage where now I am uh, beginning to interact with my client's children. Right. And I say, I say to my clients, I want your children also to be yes. some, some, somewhere you are able to connect, somewhere you are not able to connect. And probably we have to, it's not their fault, it is our fault that we have to. Yeah, so that, it's great that you say that. Yes. If they are not connecting, they are finding something to do. Yes. We have to figure in their life. Ha. Right? Ha. Uh, there's this big debate which happens, you know, I'm sorry, I have to yeah. digress. No, no, there's that no they digress. do F and O. Yeah. Maybe we are not giving them solutions attractive enough. Okay. So they are going there. Okay. And trust me, they, many people have come to the conclusion that they don't know, hmm. they will lose money. Huh. I doubt if I can use the word they don't know. Okay. That's what I'm asking myself. They know. Huh. Right. We've gone through some risky products ourselves, hmm. where the products have tanked 25% absolute, hmm. and held by the young. Hmm. And I would have, in our older days, got hmm. calls, no, hmm. these are franchise loss products, or hey, you have lost money for it. All they were calling because they were international projects which were stopped. Hmm. When are you opening? Why are you not allowing us to average at these prices? Hmm. That's a 
Hmm. A paradigm <laughs> shift to yes. what was happening. It, it is a learning in the last two, three years that they understand the risks better than us. And and finally, this is a business of risk management. This yes. is, people think it is a it is about returns. Returns. It is about it risk management. It is about risk mitigation. Take care of risk, returns take care of is themselves. It is an outcome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I feel that hmm. generation understands it better than us. Okay. Fine. So, we, we made a blanket statement, but then uh, maybe there is one flaw in that next generation that they won't, they run after fast money. So, I have this famous quote, do you want fast money or more money and you can't have both? See, I think every generation runs after fast money. Even we did? Today, if you see market condition now mm. and look at inflows, and I'm just mm. referring to inflows, uh, it's like there is only one category and that is small cap. Mm. <laughs> right? Mm. And then they, they Performance chasing, so, so yeah. It's not, it's the highest return chasing. Hmm. So, maybe it's become more transparent, so we are getting to see what they are doing. Hmm. Earlier it was happening since the lack of WhatsApp hmm. or internet, hmm. we were not able to see it. Okay. Uh, every generation runs for So, what do we teach them? How do we teach them to approach the subject of investing in a more methodical, scientific way? I think the fundamental change and that's where I think people like you come hmm. in and, and really make the difference is uh, making investment tangible for their life. Okay. Right. And that is why, what is most Please important. Explain that. I mean, if the reason for investing has to be associated with your life. And that is where we call the simple thing of goal setting. Hmm. Why you are investing, they should know. Hmm. And, and they are clever enough to so figure So, investing out. to become rich, is it a goal? You can then define that richness. Okay. You can say just... That's, that's a vague, a vague term. Term. That's See, a vague thing. Look at our country. Everything hmm. changed when the finance minister stood up and hmm. she said that I want this country to be 5 trillion. Hmm. Then we are... Then the entire perspective changed. Everything changed. We are hmm. on a path. Huh. We are on 2 trillion, we'll go to 5 That's trillion. a goal. That's a goal. So, and then we are able to gauge whether we are on 5 trillion. We are not. Hai, ye goal nahi. Ne, paisa, bilkul goal hona chahiye, but how much money you have to earn? What kind of money you have to earn? Yes, if you put if you know why you want to invest, then where to invest becomes easy. Okay, start with, that reminds me of a book, Start With Why. Start With Why, the, the fundamental Even question. Even investing is to start. So, most powerful so question. If, ask, if I ask Ultra h and is why are you investing and they say, see, they are, all their goals are met. Yeah. They already have surpluses enough to take care of all their goals. Then Have you, have you asked the gentleman that hmm. his goals are met? Okay, maybe I was you. So, ask. Okay. They would have different goals. Okay. Their goal would be loftier. It would be very different. Huh. You know, uh, so everybody pursues See, something even if, in Even life. if somebody is extremely well to do, you are saying, maybe they have a loftier goal. They would have something else. But the thing is, once you define that, and most of them would have defined that, most of them in their mind would have had a path to... Maybe they have not articulated on a piece of paper. They would know themselves. They would know themselves. Yes, yes. So, and yes. that is our job to get it on yeah. in black and white. So, once you put it on black and white, then okay. you can measure it. Okay. And that's the best part. And it, it has to do something with my life. See, my life is very different from your life. So, yes. hence, what you seek from your life can be completely different from what I seek from my life. Yes. If I tell you why I invest, some of them will sound very vague to you. Now, my money is, my life is, my reserves are. Yes. Right? They are completely yes. mine. And I am right. Yes. So, everybody is right. To each is own. Yes, yes, yes. To and so, okay. once you do that, then you can plan investing in a far better way. I mean, if I ask anybody a simple question, is health more important or wealth more important? They will look at me and say, okay, sir, health is important. But in their mind, it is wealth. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that is the truth. So, so it intellectually, is, we understand yeah, it, but yeah. we have not put it into practice. Ha, because, see, if you look at our generations, we were told money is a bad thing. Yeah. Because we didn't have money. Yeah. So, so here, can I can I add one point? Our shastras, hmm. in India, we have to say that we are not money minded. Our shastras, see, Vishnu's cohort is Lakshmi. Hmm. Vishnu's better half is Lakshmi. Even if you, as I keep saying, even for charity, you need money. Even yeah. if you want to do good hmm. to the world, hmm. it is not good. And I, if somebody starts a non profitable business, I say, why non profitable? Let's say you are doing something for a good cause, like one of my causes is the girl child. True. Okay? So if I want to do something with my net worth, how many girls I can help? Sure. Okay? So if I make that charitable activ activity also profitable, hmm. then it's a sustainable thing. And you can do more. I can, we can do yeah. more. And our Shastras never said money no, is bad. I, I also come from. Yes, a city of you, you temples, are an Bhubaneswar, I am an Odia, yeah. and everything Bhubaneswar. is described in the Shastras for us. Ah. But if there is uh, Goddess Lakshmi there, ah. how come money is not important? Ah. 
Yes. We have her. Yes. Guiding us the way to make money. Right. Yes. And so, somewhere it's said in, maybe in whatever context, but the presence of hmm. uh, Lakshmi. Uh, Lakshmi just impl implies that she is a big part of. We have yes. two gods. We, I mean, uh, Saraswati uh, and at, back at home, yes. and, and the bigger one is uh, Ganesh. Hmm. Uh, so, these three gods we pray very, and thankfully we are backed by two. Incredible gods, mm. the dude Lord mm. Shiva, yeah. and and we have <laughs> Kalya, who's Lord Jagannath, who's a friend, who's yeah. not a god. That's right. So these are the five gods who primarily dominate us. But yeah. the fact is, Lakshmi being there mm. implies the fact the importance of money in our shastras also. Mm. Yes, and in fact, you know, I, in one of my episodes, I mentioned Ashta Lakshmi. Ashta Lakshmi. So Lakshmi is yes. our aunt. Eight yeah. Lakshmis. Yeah. Money is only one. Uh -huh. Even knowledge, Saraswati is a Lakshmi. Uh, somebody like you who have great uh, vocational power. So, uh, if you talk, people listen to you. That is also one kind of Lakshmi. True, it's true. known as Raj Lakshmi. Raj Lakshmi yes. So, there are kings whom wow. the uh, courtiers listened to. There were kings whom courtiers never listened to. So, he didn't have Raj Lakshmi. Last is Adi Lakshmi, spiritual Lakshmi. So, now let me wow. not. <laughs> so there are eight types of. Uh, there, there's a Lakshmi uh, uh, which is known as Dhanya Lakshmi. That in COVID, people had money. There were some very rich folks with money, but food didn't reach them or medicine didn't reach them. That is known as Dhanya Lakshmi. Or somebody is diabetic. India is a diabetic capital, true, unfortunately. True. You can buy all the sweets in the world, but you can't consume yeah. them. True. So that is also required. Yeah. That is about health. So, yeah. okay, now let me take it away from me. Uh, uh, any any message you want to give to the regulator or what, what you want to change in the Indian mutual fund industry? See, I think it's not about regulator. I think mm -hmm. the what has happened today and, and it's not anything wrong. It's, it's mm -hmm. a factor of when money comes in, people start uh, fulfilling their aspirations before their needs. Yeah. Uh, but there is a genuine need for investing. Mm -hmm. I think this need for investing, people need to realize. Mm -hmm. What is it? Uh, go, go deep. I mean, for me, deep. like I, I was speaking in a forum recently and I was yeah. saying when when we were young mm -hmm. and, and I am a fam I'm born to two teachers mm. and, and being okay. a teacher's kid is very different from <laughs> being another kid because the teachers always teach you <laughs> and, and all the while… I parents was, become teachers more. Yeah, I mean my parents <laughs> felt that, you know, I could have been a better student, I agree with but them. But it has come out well. <laughs> no, that's <laughs> right. So at one point of time they felt clearly my career was not happening and I don't disagree with them. I can go and talk about it. Some is it so? Yeah, your yeah, parents yeah, were saying your career… And they were right. Happening. I'm not disagreeing. But they would always tell me, you see, we have pension. Yeah. We will be taken care of. Yes. We will what about not be you? dependent on you. What about you? What okay. about you? Yeah. And that gave me the scare of my life. Okay. Of retirement. Hmm. Today in India, the biggest ticking bomb is the retirement. Yes. People have no idea how much money they will need when they retire. Dig deeper into that. I uh, I so somebody other day I was interviewing somebody else. And he very rightly said that retirement planning is the only goal for which you can take a loan. Yeah, absolutely. You have stage and you know, now you have given up. Yeah, that motivation to work is no more there and you end up living 20 more years. See, please understand we are living longer. Pehle kya, we would die early. Yes. So, kaam khatam. Yes. Right? Yes. You are going to work 30-35 years to sustain yourself another 30-35 years. Hmm. And the only thing you will need hmm. in your old age is money. The only thing that will stand by you yes. is money, yes. nothing else. Let's yes. be, when, when we talk money, yes. we talk without emotions. And if you have money, then maybe people will come and help. Everything if else falls money, into place. No, and, people and, will stand by you if you have money. And based on my experience, with my thousand families, I can say, ki now what I am saying is that people don't want to be even dependent on the children. Shouldn't be. Shouldn't be. Right? See, uh, I have written about it. That's yes. the best thing that's happened between my parents and me. Hmm. For me to lead a very different life is they are not dependent on me. And I didn't want, I don't want my son to be dependent on me and mm -hmm. vice versa. Yes. So my son has his own sense of humor and he read that article and said, Dad, you're not going to give me money. <laughs> In all jest. Uh, but the young are very different. But yeah. that's how it should be. Uh, I mean, I'm very yeah. lucky that… You should not count on that. No, I will not. We, we should not count on Why that. should I? Why, uh, we I'm, should. I'm capable. And why be a burden on your yeah, kids? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there was a time India was like that because of the economic status yes. of India. Yes. But if I am going to work for 30, 35 years hmm. and then be dependent on my child, hmm. I should reflect on what I am doing. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So, elaborate more on that yeah. retirement so, planning. So, ah. that's the biggest ticking bomb because 5, 6 percent of Indians… So, you're saying pension. Indians are not prepared for their retirement? They're clueless. They're clueless. Not prepared is a separate issue. Ah. We've had debates in our office and we believe that since we are in mutual funds, we know a little. 
some of the money which was put on the table ki this much will be okay for my retirement and when i showed my face mm. uh, the other gentleman yes. looked at me and said gave that big singam dialogue no mere zarurat hai kam hai isliye mujh mein dam hai that dialogue came to me and two days later he's come back and said ki boss now i'm leading a sleepless night because he's discussed that amount with the family mm. and the family is completely disagreed with him okay and this happened in our office so did you come out with a solution do we have a calculator we have a calculator mm. and and i am for me the most paranoid goal in my life is retirement mm. what if i live till 100 I want to live till hundred, mm. and as a result, what happens? And also, not live with lesser standard of. I was coming to that. Ah. That's, a, that's the most important point. Yes. What is the result of not planning is mm. post retirement, which are shrinking our lives. Ah. Why should I do that? Why should I, you? I will slog for. You earn that life. I want my life. Ah. If not better, I want ah. to lead better. In fact, you should enjoy that. At phase. least I should lead this life. Yes. Then put the calculation in place. Mm. Add some inflation to it, mm. and figure out the money. Mm. everybody today is educated mm. arriving at this money is mm. is not not mm. not difficult mm. once you see that money in mm. front of you mm. and imagine that you live 30 35 years mm. after you have stopped working for money after your active income is over after your active income is over passive income uh-huh. is there uh-huh. passive income has to be generated in fact that's... that importance of passive income has not been done no, properly probably that's where i'm banking neither on the our young. industry is done that so see our industry to be fair to us we are product manufacturers yeah. you are the personal finance expert yes right so so we can aid you mm. uh, but i personally believe that's where i, I then why don't so why don't we have a retirement dedicated plan and so, why can't we name it and label it like that so we've been fighting with this with the regulator if you ask me for yes. one grouse yes. with the regulator yes. uh, uh, that should be allowed to more fund houses yes. you know that we've been fighting yes uh, because for us personally at mere asset i would have loved to see a head- headline that even in child plan see i i, I say mutual fund is uh, one a great uh, uh, product manufacturer which can cater to any goals yeah. okay but then people want that name in the scheme yeah. Okay, so they associate it with the name. Since we are discussing, we mm-hmm. we do some programs on SIP hacks. Huh. Ki okay. we don't believe ki just SIP karo, huh. put a meaning to the SIP. Huh. So we have some solutions. So a colleague of mine came and said, "Ki bas, I also have a solution." Hmm. I said, "What is the solution?" He said, "The day the child is born, hmm. that year is hmm. first year hmm. is your amount of SIP, one hmm. thousand. Hmm. Because at that point of time, young couple, you don't have money. Hmm. As per your age, you make the SIP." Okay, so if and the child the, is eighteen, it is an eighteen thousand. Eighteen thousand. Typically, he said, "Don't you will not go till eighteen uh-huh. on the fifteenth year. Uh-huh. You redeem that money, and that's your child's higher education." Oh, yeah, because so 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 for first year of the child, one thousand S I P. Second year, two thousand. Ah, his logic was that when they get married, they don't have much money. Thousand rupees is enough. Second year, two thousand. Three thousand, four thousand. On the fifteenth year, when the child will need money. For higher and education. how much does this uh, corpus come to? It depends on uh, ah. your projection and your ah. portfolio, but it's ah. a fair enough portfolio to give you the okay, child's higher education. Okay, it's a good education. SIP. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. how to make make your SIP meaning by you yeah. know just yeah. making it tangible? But we need to name the product. See, people have so there are there there is a competing industry, insurance industry, nothing to take ah. away from them. They name the product, no, they, they label the products, well. they, they man- do it very well, and I believe our industry has better products to offer. But see. Uh, Again, bringing back the fiduciary mm. role, mm. Uh, uh, I agree somewhere with the regulator for not mm. uh, putting a name to it because mm. there are other. And we have it. wonderful regulator. Madhvi yeah, is doing a, yeah. ma'am is doing a I great mean, we, job. We have the best we, regulator. We have the, the best world. regulator in the world, right? World. I mean, there is no doubt or debate on that. In uh, my mind, at least. Yes. Uh, uh, But then, why? What was the harm in naming? So you asked me yes. for one grouse. Uh, we've been fighting. <laughs> I hope we are allowed. One one child plan, one retirement Could plan. Could be yes, yes. And we can put a and and I'll tell you one more as a distributor managing money uh, in the fiduciary capacity for fifteen years. You know what is the only biggest negative? I believe the best uh, investing brains in the country are in the uh, mutual fund industry. There are people like you, the fund managers. I keep interacting with one every week, and the, I Incredible. see the kind of brain power. Incredible. These people talent. have been super successful. Had they been anything else? True. True. Okay. and in no and one our mutual fund industry is one of the best in the world according to me our country is the best one of the best equity market in the world we just discussed it with one other guy that 20 if you do a 25 year data kegar data on and a dollar returns for all the equity markets in the world india comes one i was just re- yeah, discussing yeah, with no ramdev ji the other day yeah. and no better person ha ha no better person 25 saal mein indian equity market oh. 
I just tweeted two weeks ago huh. that in 2012, hmm. my one lakh in my emerging blue chip hmm. is 10 lakhs. Hmm. Two years, two weeks. Ago. And it's not a recommendation. No, no, it's Mitchell not a recommendation. I'm just forget, to market risk. forget the forget name that. of the fund. Yeah, <laughs> one lakh becomes ten lakh, and let's look at it. In, in how many years? In ten years. In ten. ten years. One becomes ten. So you give ten next return in yes. ten years. So let's forget that. Mm. Now I'm yeah. coming to the question: What do you do with the ten lakhs? Mm. We are the only country probably keeping China aside, which will double its economy in the next ten years. I yes. know that. Yes. Now at ten lakhs, mm. my compounding starts on ten lakhs. Yes. Actually, the real compounding mm. happens. Actually, my real return will start now. Now the ten will not become twenty, oh, or or it will not become. Let's hard. talk after <laughs> six years. I will talk to you because yeah. see, when the economy do doubles, uh. Uh, how do you get this back to you? Mm. The best way, or the easiest way to get it back to you is through the capital markets. Mm. And one of the best regulated products for you is the mutual fund. So I'll tell you two two issues I face in you. One is it's so easy to redeem. See, see, my clients have different assets. FD hai, real estate hai, insurance plans hai, mutual fund hai. Whenever somebody needs money and I'm there for them, I mean they invest so that they can take out money. Ab to, uh, in our system, they just have to WhatsApp me, yeah. put 10 lakh in my bank and it gets done. We are all on cloud. It Mutual fund is the easiest to take out money. Since now sometimes said, they forget that they, that money was for a particular goal. Yeah. See that is see if you I, take out money for a goal, no harm. I always say that in anybody's financial plan, the star is the goal, hmm. but the rock star is the person who takes the investor to the goal, hmm. and that is you. Okay. Okay, and that is your role. Okay. Some people confuse it to be giving products. Hmm. I don't think that's very easy. No, you can no, Google and fine. get a product. Anybody can do it. But the person who takes the investor to the goal hmm. and realizes it hmm. is the actual. Role. Thank you for listening to the AUM Finance Podcast. Remember that all investments are subject to market and other risks, and one should read offer docs and other documents carefully before investing.